Hello everyone, and it's Ms. Shannon from the Peters Township Public Library, and I am so excited because today I have author Julie Sorrentino with me, and she is going to talk to us about her debut book, The Not So Goldfish. So welcome, Julie. Thank you so much for coming here today and talking to us. Yeah, and of course. I'm so excited. <laughs> and um, so can you tell our friends what inspired you to write this book? Sure. So the title of my book is called The Not So Goldfish. And um, a few years ago, I did have two goldfish. Their names were Briggs and Banjo. They both um, got sick at one point, and we were able to give them medication through the fish tank in the water to get better. And they both healed, but my goldfish Briggs started turning colors, and he ended up losing his gold and he had turned white, just like the story. So um, after asking multiple pet stores and some fish experts, they had never heard of a goldfish losing its color and turning white before. So that just kind of stuck with me throughout the years. Interesting, I actually had a goldfish that faded to almost white as well. I had, oh, really? Yeah, I had like a 15 cent like goldfish for eight years. Um, it died when I went to college. I <laughs> didn't survive that. And by the, it was really, really bright orange when I got him. And then by the end of the eight years, he was not white, but he was like a very light yellow. So I don't know. Wow. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So how long did it take you to, to write this story? How much time did you spend? Well, I've had, like, I had the idea in my head. And um, at the time I was teaching first grade. And so I was really into writing different stories. So when I went to sit down to write this book, it came out quickly within a few days. But then it took um, a few weeks and a few months to really go through, edit, reread, um, change some words around and make sure that it was the way I wanted it to be. Awesome. Now, one of my favorite parts about the story, of course, is the story itself. But you do have some um, adorable illustrations in here. So tell us a little bit about your illustrator and working with him. Yes, so my illustrator is Matt Casal, and he is actually a Pittsburgh artist. And I didn't know him prior to um, having him work on my book, but I found out about him through other Pittsburgh artists. And I am a terrible artist. I cannot draw very well at all. But I had a vision in mind of what I wanted the illustrations to be um, that went with the words. So I had sketched out um, all of my ideas, and then Matt was awesome. He was able to take my ideas. He looked at real photographs of my goldfish that I had and was able to sketch and create the vision. And we worked really well together collaborating. He shared his ideas. And I shared my ideas and we came up with the illustrations together. Awesome. Very cool. Now this is your debut um, picture book. Do you think you, this is something you want to do again someday? I know you're a teacher, so you're pretty busy with that. <laughs> yes, I do have a second book in the works right now. And um, the second book is going to have some woodland creatures this time. Cool. Awesome. Well, we'll look forward to hearing that one, too, and seeing that one come out. All right, friends. Well, Miss Julie is going to read for us today the Not-So-Goldfish. So she'll be reading, and I'll try to hold the pictures up as best as I can on my end. Okay, so our story today is called The Not-So-Goldfish. The Not-So-Goldfish. Briggs loved being a goldfish. He enjoyed swimming fast and playing with the other fish. One evening, Briggs nestled in his bed and went to sleep. The next morning, he found his gold color was gone. Oh no, it must be my eyes, Briggs cried. I can't be white. I'm a goldfish. I know just what to do. I'll ask my friend Banjo. He has the best eyes in the pond. Hi Banjo, how do I look? 
you lost your gold. You're not a goldfish. You don't belong in this pond. I'll get my gold back and I do belong. Greg swam to a cove where he found some gold clay. There, I'm gold again. Briggs quickly scurried to his friend Piper and spun around. But when he did, the gold clay washed off. Hi Piper, how do I look? What happened? You've lost all your gold. You don't belong in this pond. With sadness in his eyes, Briggs whispered, I am a goldfish and I do belong. Briggs swiftly swam past the park. There he found his friends starting a race. Can I race with you? You race with us? You're not even gold. Only goldfish can race. You're not a goldfish. You don't belong in this pond. I am a goldfish and I do belong. I'll even win this race. On your mark, get set. Go. <laughs> in the end, Briggs won the gold medal for being the fastest fish in the pond. Hooray, cheered the crowd. You really are a goldfish and I do belong. And I love at the end, you have a little picture of your goldfish. That's so cute. <laughs> yes, so that is Briggs and Bando. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Julie. I love that so much. That was a great story, friends. Um, hopefully, when your library reopens, you'll be able to check this book out at the Pierce Central Library. But until then, it is available on Amazon, correct? Yes. And, yes, and you can look for it there. Thank you, Julie. Have a wonderful You're welcome. day. Thanks for letting me sleep. You too. Have a wonderful Bye. day, everybody. Bye-bye.